All right, what's going on everyone out there on YouTube NES Roller and welcome to a brand new review Figured we'd come out here and sit in the Jeep today Because it's a very nice day here in the wonderful city of Chicago And today we'll be reviewing a film that was sent to me to review by Cohen Media Group And it's a film actually I've been wanting to see for uh, since the beginning of the year Because it actually won a whole bunch of awards at Cannes And the film had a huge... Uh, talk going on in the international film community and it's a film that I definitely been wanting to see since then but it unfortunately never came here to Chicago I uh, went to a whole bunch of different cities in the United States but it never came here which is unfortunate it's surprising because Chicago typically gets a lot of stuff but um, Cohen Media Group announced it had to grab it uh, and give it a review for you guys and it's a film titled Rams which is an Icelandic film, and you don't really hear that many films coming from Iceland, and I haven't really seen that many films coming from Iceland, but from people that I've talked to who've seen, you know, films from Iceland and film scholars, it's a very uh, great film country, and it's one that I definitely have to dig in deeper, but this is a film that is very simple. It's a very, very simple film with a very simple story, but with the way that the characters work and the acting and everything along that it really really works extremely 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 well and i can see why the film has such a huge uh praise from uh film critics and scholars from around the world so the film like i said is very simple we follow gummy and kitty they are two brothers who live in a valley in iceland and they raise sheep uh not any kind of sheep a uh prize strand of sheep that has been around for generations in this family and it's won a lot of awards and uh, different competitions and things along that. But the thing is Kitty and Gummy, they hate each other. They live on the farm together because uh, their parents said that they had to live together after they died. But they absolutely hate each other and they haven't talked to each other for 40 years. And we never really know why this is the case, why they hate each other. But we don't really need to know why. Uh, or if we try to understand of our own minds why they hate each other, I think it, it comes to an acceptable conclusion that the film necessarily doesn't need to blatantly say why these two hate each other. But they absolutely hate each other. They want to have nothing to do with each other, but unfortunately they have to live on this land together. And unfortunately one day, uh, Scrappy, uh, Scrabies, I, I always mispronounce it, uh, infects their sheep herd and the herd's in the other valleys around uh, their farm and what scrapies is or scrapies is unfortunately is a disease that affects uh, sheep's brain and spinal cords which ultimately uh, makes them you know extremely ill so the only way to cure it is to slaughter their sheep and uh, uh, gummy who is the more reasonable one decides to uh, follow the rules and slaughter the sheep and kitty on the other hand puts up a fight and then as time goes on we learn that some sheep unfortunately well not unfortunately uh, weren't slaughtered and this ultimately brings gummy and kitty together trying to um, trying to band together to save this last small herd of sheep that they've kept uh, in hiding pretty much and it's just a really, really, uh, like I said, simple film, but it's an absolutely gorgeous film. Uh, we basically, a lot of long uh, panning shots of the landscape, and it's just absolutely stunningly gorgeous. And there isn't too much dialogue based in this film. It's a huge uh, film that revolves around just pure acting, and it's just really, really well done. The two actors that play Gummy and Kitty just do an amazing job. And the sheep obviously represents their pride and trying to understand uh, who they are as people uh, in these sheep. And the fact that they are able to come and band together at the end just because of these sheep, you know, it's, it's a pretty interesting uh, subtext about what these sheep represent to them. And I can see why so many people loved it. And this is a fantastic release from uh, Cohen. Like they typically do. If you guys don't know Cohen, they're a uh, E1 uh, sub label, and they release a lot of uh, foreign films, a lot of uh, French films, which you guys know I absolutely love. And it comes with this nice booklet and everything like that, um, uh, talking about the film. I'll show you guys some of the booklet. No, with the sheep, and it's just a really, really uh, 
amazing subpar that they throw in there. So if you guys are into simple films, but that mean a lot to uh, to the characters and the audiences, then I really, really think that you guys will dig this movie um, because it really, really is worth uh, the praise that it got at Cannes, and it was nominated for an Oscar, but unfortunately it didn't win. But it definitely is a film that if you guys are into watching non-horror films sometimes like myself, then you guys really should pick this up. And the Blu-ray has the trailer and an interview with the director and a short film from the director as well. But like I said, I'll definitely be checking out more films from Iceland soon. I really, really enjoyed this. And I, I highly recommend you guys check out Rams. It definitely lives up to the hype. So thanks everybody for watching my review of Rams. If you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash nesruler22. I hope everybody's doing well and I'll talk to you guys soon with another review. I'll talk to you guys soon. See you guys.